Madeline Hintebuchner from Austria, Salzburg University Clinic. I'm at EuroPCI TV 2019. And today I'm with Dave Sparf from Sweden. He's um, the chief nursing officer for five hospitals in Sweden. And we're going to talk today about quality in the cath lab and what is needed to establish a quality program. So Dave, let me ask you first, what is quality in the cath lab? Quality is actually a very hard concept to define. So for me, I always try to, to start from the three very important questions when we talk about quality and why we should do quality programs in a cat lab. Why are we doing this? What are we about to do? And how are we going to do it? Mm -hmm. Typically in healthcare, we start with the how and we don't know why. <laughs> very, very good, yeah. very good answer. Um, I find quite often quality starts with education. Mm -hmm. So how can you see education in the cath lab? How can you get the quality? I think it's absolutely vital that we train and educate our staff in the cath lab, both the nurses and allied professionals, in a standardized and systematic way. Mm -hmm. And in order to be able to do that, we have to have a core curriculum, mm -hmm. which we have in Europe for, for nurses and allied professionals. Mm -hmm. It's very important that we know the content because that's associated with quality for me. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have to measure it. Mm -hmm. And that's also an important point. Okay. Um, one thing that um, we have available now is a certification in the cath lab from the Euro um, um, PCI. What do you think, how, is, do you see that in your um, system happening? Mm -hmm. I think it's a very good, it's a big interest of how to make quality improvements. Mm -hmm. It's basically all about the patients, of course, mm -hmm. and the patient, both the information, involvement, and experience, mm -hmm. because it's for the patients who are there, right? Correct. But 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 also for keeping staff motivated and mm -hmm. for staff retention, because mm -hmm. we have a huge problem of nurses and other professionals leaving their profession. And I think a certification exam and a continuous education plan is the way to keep them also engaged in the, in the cat lab. Great, that's really important. Mm -hmm. One thing we, we were just saying, measuring, so the how, so how do we measure? Mm -hmm. um, do you have any tips of how you can measure in, in a cath lab to see that the quality is being achieved? I think it's very important to start from the patient's point of view. What's mm -hmm. really important in terms of outcome, how mm -hmm. can we increase uh, quality of life after a procedure, how can we decrease mortality and morbidity. Mm -hmm. One way is to use different kind of parameters, for mm -hmm. example, that we already have in our quality registries. Mm -hmm. I think the, the quality registries are improving in mm -hmm. all of Europe and we have to use them wisely in order to be able to, to predict outcome. Okay, very good. So Dave, what you're saying is what we need to do is not how, but first figure out what and why we're um, doing quality assessment. And one way to do that is to train your cath lab, keep them educated, and then show some measurements. Do you do any um, posting of quality measurements that you have measured in your cath lab, like putting them up on your staff, in your staff room to show, look what we've achieved? Mm -hmm. I think, yes, we do. And I think actually that's a crucial point that quality indicators and quality work has to be transparent. Because mm -hmm. you have to be able to show your results in order to get the feedback to your system. And actually, I think this is quite uh, not controversial at all. Mm -hmm. All people want to see if you're doing a good job, they want to keep it back. Okay, great. So, thank you, Dave. I think we've um, found out what we need to do, why, how, what. You need to get those three questions together to make quality easy mm -hmm. and interesting in your cath lab. Thank you. Thank you.